I'm Kayleen. Welcome to my channel and I'm so glad you clicked on this. Can you let me know what made you click on this? I would really appreciate that. My videos are going to be simple. I'm going to be sitting here just talking to you, kind of like John Campbell. If you ever see, look up John Campbell. He's an English, I think he might be a nurse practitioner. He goes over data. He doesn't do all these crazy images coming and going. I don't believe that all those images are helping you concentrate and listen to the message. Number one, it's easier if I don't do all the images. Number two, I, don't, I just don't think it's helping your brain. So I decided to start this channel to promote my book, Mom Remembers Me. I, I talk about that on many other videos, so I'm not going to have anybody that watches my videos listen to that all again. But I decided to start a series or lessons, and today's going to be lesson number one, entitled for how to beat big food at their, at their game, right? Big food, the standard American diet, is causing every imaginable problem. And people just are not making this connection between the food that they put in their body. What you put in your body is what your body is using to rebuild your body, right? And I always watched a cause and effect with my mother, taking care of my mother. And people just don't seem to get it. So I also see a lot of times in the, in the media where scientists and doctors will say, you can't see a cause and effect. And I can't help but wonder, well, when can you see a cause and effect? Because we know you drink alcohol, you get drunk. That is a clear cause and effect. And I saw that with my mother. When she got Heinz ketchup, that's when she was man delusional calling me an effing whore. It is the food, right? You have to watch your food. Whatever, whatever's happening, keep a journal. I keep a food reaction tracker. I watch what I eat. If my nose runs, I know it's allergic reaction to food. If I'm drastically sleepy, then that's an allergic reaction to the food. So there's a book by Brian Wansick called Slim by Design that I got from the library that's excellent. It goes over all these tips and pretty much to trick you how to, to eat better. And he has so many tricks in there like don't enter your house to the kitchen so you don't see the food. Don't put the food at eye level. Then you won't see it and you won't want it, right? In supermarkets, they put the bad food lower for the kids to see it and also higher for us to see it. So the general rule is to stay around the perimeter of supermarkets because that's where it's a real produce. Staying in the inside aisles with all the labels are the worst possible foods. So you're trying to eliminate high fructose corn syrup, which is in everything in like a Safeway or anything. I don't shop. I shop a little bit in Safeway, but not for most of my foods. I shop at Whole Foods, Sprouts, and Trader Joe's because that's when... They still have a lot of um, bad foods there, but it doesn't have it as bad as Safeway and lots of other grocery stores, right? So my first lesson to you is don't buy it. <laughs> it sounds simple, and I always find that I have more willpower in the store than I do at home. So if you buy it and you have it home, what are you going to do? You're going to go, oh, what the heck, I'm going to eat it. So if you don't have it at home, and so then if you get lazy at night and you're not going to drive out to get it, because I'm within a mile of many, many supermarkets, I could drive out and get. I live in Northern California. So my lesson, the first lesson in my series of how to beat big food is don't buy it. Thanks a lot for listening. I hope you share this. I would really appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribed. But if you check in frequently and l listen to my lessons, I would great love that too. Thanks a lot. Take care.